Hello and welcome to the Deliciously Divine Kitchen. Um, we have today a beautiful recipe. It's called the Spice Cake. We decided to do a cake for uh, today. And we're going to start with a very simple instructions. It starts with flour. We're going to have three cups of flour. We're going to have half a cup of the sugar. It goes with two teaspoons of the baking soda, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of the old spice. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to mix all the dry ingredients. So we're going to start pouring the flour. Then we're going to add the sugar. Then the baking soda. The cinnamon. And last, the allspice. You can take just a little wooden spoon or you can use a, a whisk just to mix it nicely. All the dry ingredients. So now that we have the dry ingredients, so we're going to start with the two bars of the butter or one cup. It's already nice and soft. And then we're going to add one can of evaporated milk. You can also use regular milk if you like. So you're going to pour it right there on the center. Then one can of the condensed milk. And for this, you would like to use the spatula, right? Because it sticks to the bowl. Okay. And the vanilla. We're going to use one teaspoon of real vanilla. So what we're going to do next, you can use a hand mixer or you can use a whisk or a wooden spoon just to mix all of this. But today I'm going to use a hand mixer. Usually what you want to do is make sure like I was doing with the mixer, make sure you go all around because in the bottom part of the flour might be still there. So you can do this for about three minutes or when you see that it's all nicely mixed, it's going to be a little thick. It's okay. The part of the strawberry filling. The strawberry filling is just one can and what we're going to do is we're going to take about, just about from this mixture, just about a cup or a cup and a half and we're going to mix it with the strawberry filling. So it's just an about, okay? So I just kind of measure it like this. So we're going to mix this at least one and a half or two cups. And what you're going to do, you want to fold it. You don't want to stir it. You want to fold it because remember there are strawberries in here and you don't want those strawberries to break down. They're nice and big hmm, strawberries, as you can see. And this is basically how it's going to look. You can see the strawberries in there. This is a 9 by 13 inch glass pan. Now you can use the aluminum pan, it's fine, but I decided to do the glass. If you're going to do the aluminum pan, you have to put the uh, oven, preheat the oven at 350 degrees if it's aluminum. If it's glass, you have to decrease 25. So the oven, we're going to turn it to 325, which actually should have been done before. But um, that way it's nice and hot. And we're going to, in the bottom, we're going to put some butter and butter the pan and a little bit of flour. So what you're going to do is you're going to first pour on the bottom of the pan, you're going to pour this mix. And you want to pour it evenly. So just go slowly and just kind of spread it. It with the spatula, you want to make sure you spread it nicely and even. Okay. We are going to pour the rest of the mixture. I like to scrape it in the bottom because like I said, sometimes there's a little bit of flour in the bottom. So you want to make sure you mix all of that again. So 
you can see. So you just spread it evenly. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of pink above it. It's fine. And this is how it's going to look before we put it in the oven. At 325, it's already on. And we're going to put it about 45 to 50 minutes. Again, the time depends on what pan you use. Again, I'm going to set it for 45 to 50 minutes. It's been 50 minutes. And the cake, it's done. So you want to let it cool off for at least 10 minutes before you cut. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert it on a plate so you can see the strawberries on the top. Okay, now we are going to invert the cake. What I do, I put the tray above it and you're just going to twist it. You can see the strawberries in it. You can serve this, you can have some strawberry uh, sauce, pineapple, vanilla, whatever you like. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut a little piece. So you can see that there is a difference between the cake and the part where the strawberry filling is. Okay, so that's the recipe for today. And I would like to thank you all for turning into this session and hope to see you soon. You all have a good day. Thank you.